Senate's police are investigating a string of commercial break-ins around the capital region. Police say the thieves cut phone lines connecting alarm systems before going into the businesses. And early Wednesday morning, three men were picked up after a Saanich grocery store was hit. A News reporter Eric Thompson is following the story. He joins us now live with more. Eric. Hudson, the investigation into that break-in at the grocery store is still ongoing. And Saanich police say now they're looking closely at similar cases to see if there are any connections. The owner of this Saanich grocery store has asked us not to identify his business. It was hit by thieves early Wednesday morning, and police say it has similarities to several other commercial break-ins. We set up containment in the area, and it was one of our containment officers uh, who actually spotted a male that drew his attention to him. He was walking in the other direction and was talking on a cell phone. Jansen says the officer recognized the man from video taken during another recent break-in. Video surveillance from the grocery store also showed the same man inside the business. Jansen says two other suspects were later arrested. These people knew how to defeat alarm systems uh, and uh, equip themselves with tools appropriate for that. So we came in the door and the garbage can. In the there, 10 years Julie Ross has worked at M&M Meats, it's been broken into twice. She says the first time would be thieves broke the front window, triggering the alarm and alerting police. The culprits were quickly taken into custody. But in June, the business was targeted a second time by much more sophisticated criminals. Somebody had cut the wires on the telephone pole, um, had jimmied the lock, came into the store, uh, ripped all the security cameras down. Ross says after failing to break into the safe with a drill, the criminals ransacked the place, loading up on office equipment and food. The incident cost the business owner thousands and left a big mess to clean up. Saanich police are working closely with Vic PD and the RCMP to see if there are any connections with break-ins of this and other businesses and the grocery store in Saanich. There we're using both our intelligence sections from uh, Vic PD and with Saanich uh, and we're aiding them in any investigations. We were helping out last night with uh, search warrants. The reason these people were caught was given the level of sophistication of the alarm at that particular retailer. Uh, there was uh, redundancies built in where whether or not there was power or the phone lines had been cut, the alarm could still communicate with the alarm monitoring center. These recent break-ins are a good reminder to business owners to review the layers of security you have in place. And police say that includes everything from doors to alarm systems. Hudson, you can learn more about how to protect your business by getting a safety audit conducted by a security professional. Police say that will show any weak spots in your security system and give you some suggestions on how you can improve security to avoid break-ins. Good idea, Eric. Thank you. You're welcome. Eric Thompson reporting.